What's up guys? This is all haul, baby. All toy haul. And one of these has potential, at least from what I've heard, to be figure of the year material. And this is ticket talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Alright guys, so I am here. I am back. And I'm doing the toy haul. It is uh had a very big toy on, but uh, it sure did cost me a lot. So I'm gonna go through these. I did get a package. Uh, it's a mysterious package. I'm not sure what's inside, uh, but I'm gonna go through these starting with this guy. Yes, he doesn't have his uh, external box because I threw it away. Looks like uh, someone sneezed on it. It was disgusting, very sticky. Kind of afraid to know how it got so sticky, but this is Braun Breaker, NXT Braun Breaker. Big fan of his, Rick Steiner's kid, Scott Steiner's nephew. And uh, I got this, uh, if you go on Amazon, you can click on like different links and find lower prices to things. And this was uh, described as very good condition, but damaged packaging. So I got it for a deal. I think it was like 17 or 18 bucks. Uh, and yes, the packaging was absolutely damaged and disgusting. So I threw the box away, kept this. This was intact. He hasn't been taken out or anything. But uh, Braun Breaker, my first Braun Breaker Elite figure. So there you go there. That's the first one. Let's just stay with the wrestling while we're at it. Why not? Uh, this one right here, can I just give a freaking shout out to the legendary toy collector, the legendary toy hunter. That's his new name that I'm giving him. Rob motherfrickin' Choi out in California because he found, he is like the chase finder and uh, he found this, Chris Jericho Chase, posted a picture of it and I'm like, dude, if no one has dibs on that, can you hook it up? Because I'm after that one and he hooked it up. So I PayPal, I was PayPal ready as, as usual and he found this chase and I was very, very, very happy uh, that Rob was able to pick that one up and send that off to me. Rob Choi, you're the frickin' man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Chris Jericho, Chase Aruski. I need a plastic case for this guy. He's gonna stay in box. Uh, sticking with the uh, wrestling theme, I picked up a couple figures from uh, Ringside Collectibles, including this guy right here, Ray Phoenix. It's a new Ray Phoenix figure. He's got that uh, soft goods jacket. Looks pretty badass. All silver. Pretty awesome. I think I have like three or four of those uh, AEW tag team belts, but still, this is a really nice looking Ray Phoenix. I'm a big fan of the Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix, uh, Penta. I got this one for like 12 bucks, I think. 12 or $13. It is another Chris Jericho figure. Yes, I'm a Chris Jericho fan. Bam, uh, 12 bucks. And it comes with two soft goods jackets. I did not have this one. So it comes with the white jacket, the pink jacket. Looks really freaking cool. Uh, nice looking Chris Jericho, as opposed to the Walmart exclusive, the purple one, which freaking looks like Kid Rock. Look up pictures of that, Google that. I posted a picture of that on my Facebook page and it looks like mother freaking Kid Rock. This one is not, this one looks like Chris Jericho. But uh, yeah, that Walmart exclusive. Not so sure uh, they were 100% uh, on that face sculpt. All right, are we done with wrestling? No, we're not. We got one more and then everything else is non-wrestling. So all you guys that hate wrestling, uh, be happy that this is almost done. Uh, but I have a lot of other stuff here, which you'll enjoy. Bam, Sola Sokoa, uh, Bloodline. Uh, looks too thin, but that's okay. Uh, if I could find some like soft goods pants, I'm gonna put those on him because he, he wears a lot of pants on SmackDown from what I've seen. Um, he wears this in the ring, but he, he's always liking like, uh, like joggers. So I think I can grab like some joggers from the rock or something. I think there's one that has the soft good pants and hopefully that fits him. But, uh, yeah. Solo Sokoa. Bam. Rikishi son. The Uso's brother in real life. IRL. All right. All the rest of the stuff here is non-wrestling. Unless this mystery box has wrestling. Everything that you're about to see is non-wrestling. Uh, I went to a game store. Um, it used to, it's local. I went to a uh, freaking Wingstop to get some food and uh, decided to go to the game store next door. They used to only be video games and I went in there expecting to look for look at video games. They had no video games. It, ch it changed to a different kind of game store. It was like role-playing games and stuff. I was like, well, I'm not really interested in anything here. And then on my way out, I looked up and what did I see? Some NECA figures. 
shoes that I have been after and interested in, and they were lower than retail. They had these for $29.99. I'm pretty sure retail is either $34.99 or $37.99. I think Big Bad has them for $34.99, but I was very, very, very happy to find these. Uh, a, in the wild, B, where I could see them through the window, and C, for, I think, lower than retail. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Dungeons and Mother Frickin' Dragons. Mother Frickin' Strongheart. I had the original Strongheart when I was a kid. I had Strongheart and Warduke. Those are two of my favorite figures as a kid, and I'm so damn happy to have this Strongheart. This looks so frickin' badass. This is not the one that I was talking about, which has figure of the year potential. But honestly, this has figure of the year potential. This could be top 10 for me. This looks amazing. This and the War Duke. This and the War Duke. Holy frick. This has been a great year for figures, guys. I just gotta say, this has been a fantastic year for figures. I didn't have this one when I was a kid, but my buddy Jason, my best bud Jason, uh, who doesn't watch my videos, but I shout him out relentlessly on here. Jason, if you're watching this dude, hit me up in the DMs. Let me know you're watching these things. Uh, he had this. He and his brothers had this, and I remember this. Uh, it is uh, Zarak, this little ugly ass mother effer. <laughs> this little guy here, bam. I remember they had this guy. He was always, when we had little wars and stuff, I would always see his his little green face in our in our little wars. So this was, this is so cool. This is so damn cool. I'm so happy they're making these figures because I loved those AD&D figures when I was a kid. And, and the fact that we're getting modern representations with articulation, lots of freaking uh, accessories, beautiful paint. Oh my gosh, this is like the stuff that I dreamed of when I was a kid. When I would look at my little five points of articulation figures and I'd be like, I wonder what toys are gonna be like in the future. I wonder what they're gonna look like. It would be so cool if they did this and they could move like this. This is like the stuff that dreams are made of, guys. Shout it out in the comments if you felt the same way. If you grew up in the 80s and you were like, and you dreamt of like how cool figures could get potentially, we're in that era, guys. This is freaking nuts. All right, I found this one on clearance at Target. This was on clearance for, and I said this in a previous video, I said this. This was originally 32 bucks, and um, I said if it ever hits like 16 bucks, I'm buying it. And guess what, it hit 16 bucks and I bought it. It's Whiplash. It is the freaking New Eternia Whiplash. I'm definitely interested in getting the Ram Man. I'm interested in getting, uh, what's his ass, Clawful. All the new Eternia figures I'm really interested in. So yes, I freaking love these new Eternia figures. This is probably gonna be like my Motu line to collect. Uh, Cause I just love the like the new, you can give them new looks and you can freaking go back and give them the original looks too. There's some of the other figures there. But uh, frick, hell yes, dude. New Eternia Whiplash on clearance. <clears throat> All right, we got a frick ton of Joes here. Because Joe's, guys, that's like my, that's my favorite line of the year. And I don't think there's going to be changing, anything changing that. I mean, those NECA Dungeons and Dragons might give them a run for the money. But altogether, I don't think that there's anything that could beat, as far as my personal likes, there's nothing that's going to be classified. It's just, it's everything. Um, and let's just get into it. So I got this one, I pre-ordered this one on uh, Target, and I got this one right here. It is the Tiger Force Flint. I could do without the black face paint on his eyes. I think that's a little too much. I wish they had done without that, or at least given us maybe a second head sculpt that didn't have the black paint on the eyes. Um, it looks like he's wearing a mask and it just looks kind of off. But otherwise it looks cool, it's Flint. <clears throat> I'll take it. This one, I think I got this from Walmart. I think this was a Walmart pre-order, or was it? I don't freaking remember at this point. It was either Walmart or Hasbro Pulse or freaking Amazon. <laughs> it was one of those guys. I got it online, I bought it online, and it arrived, it is Firefly. It's my second Firefly. Um, I pulled the other one, the original one. I pulled him off the shelf ski, because this guy's gonna take his place. This is like a OG Firefly look. Not with all the damn gear that the, the new one had. Uh, I like the OG looks. This is gonna be my Firefly on display. So I got Firefly. I did not remember 
buying two of these, but apparently I did because that's what I guess what I do with all Cobra Army builders is I buy freaking two of them. Um, Amazon, they hit me up and I was like, 70 bucks? Good God, where's my money going? Well, I went into these guys. I got two snow serpents. So I got two Amazon snow serpents, baby. Bam, they're deluxe figures. Holy frick, they come with a lot of accessories. Look at all those accessories. I think that, is that fur soft goods too? That might be soft goods. It looks a little soft goodish. Maybe not, maybe it's just plastic looking like soft goods. But anyway, I got two snow serpents. No freaking yes. I'm at the point where I can't even display two. I can only display one of each. So until I dedicate a secondary shelf to Cobra, uh, I need a secondary shelf for Joe's too. I'm running out of room there. I'm gonna need like freaking four shelves there. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to take, what do I got there? What do I got there? So I got Indiana Jones and Dungeons and Dragons at the bottom. They're sharing some space with Motu. I'm gonna have to wipe them out. That's gonna be my second Cobra shelf. And I'm gonna have to freaking take all my, is that the uh, MCU? Marvel Legends? Freaking those guys gonna have to go so I can have more Joes up there. So that's the thing. That's the thing guys is uh, I love these GI Joe classifieds, but man, they keep pumping them out. And there's so many more that they can make. There's so many more. I'm having to pick and choose. Like some of those like Vipra, the female Cobra soldiers, I'm not picking those up. I gotta pick and choose somewhere, guys. I'm running out of freaking room. And they're not originals. At least don't kill, don't lambaste me. I don't remember them from the damn cartoon. Maybe they are originals, but I don't remember them. So I'm, I'm, I'm buying what I remember, including these guys right here. Even though I'm getting, there's a female one in there, but Steel Core Brigade, Steel Brigade. Bam, there's two of them. Male and female, and uh, what I'm most looking forward to in here is the fact that I get a, uh, a suppressor with this sniper rifle because my freaking low light took a nosedive, took a damn nosedive, tried to commit Harry Carey, took a nosedive off the shelf ski, landed gun ski first right in the crack where my freaking carpet meets my wall, and the damn silencer went under the floorboard somehow, miraculously. So I lost the damn suppressor, I got the, I have the scope. I found the scope. I found the sniper rifle's fine, but I lost the suppressor. So hopefully this suppressor right here fits on Lowlight's gun. Otherwise, I might be that guy because I'm crazy in the head where I buy another Lowlight just to have one complete. <sighs> Ridiculous. All right. We got uh, three more items here and mystery box. Correction, four more items. I said I was done with wrestling. This guy was hiding under the damn mystery box. Who is it? Mother frickin' rock the Dwayne Johnson. Got the Dwayne, got the ultimate, the Dwayne. I, th I think this is a Target exclusive because the Target exclusive ultimates are in a red box. So I got the rock there. Probably my favorite wrestler of all time, I would say. Him and Cena are up there. Um, this guy, just love this dude. And uh, he was, he's the one of the reasons I got into wrestling. Him and Goldberg are really the two reasons that I really got into wrestling. Uh, but yes, got the ultimate rock. Maybe I can use these pants on old Solo Sokoa, even though they got the white stripes down the side. And I think his pants are just all black. If you know a suggestion for uh, soft goods, all black, like, uh, track pants or jogger pants for Solo Sokoa, hit me up in the comments. Uh, all right, now I have three items and mystery box. I'm gonna go two items and then mystery box and I'm gonna show you the last one, which I think could have potential for, you know, top 10 of the year. All right, Transformers. I have really limited my Transformer purchasing to really just masterpiece, masterpiece scale and third party masterpiece scale. Fans Toys is my favorite masterpiece scale um, third party. I am keep burping here, I apologize. I don't wanna let one freaking fly and disgust people. I'm trying to hold it in. Anyway, where was I? Holy crap, Fans Toys is one of, one of, if it is my favorite. Fans Toys is my favorite third party masterpiece scale company. And I got a new Fans Toys figure. It is freaking Gears. What are they calling him? Variator. Cause he's not licensed. But he is badass, to say the least. Better than whatever Takara could produce, because 
If we get one from Takara, it's gonna be all freaking plastic and flimsy and stuff's gonna break. This is die cast, baby. This is freaking gears. This is gears. I loved gears. I loved the mini box as a kid. And this is a fans toys gears. Masterpiece scale. Hell freaking yes. All right. This one, not gonna lie, kind of an impulse buy. It was made by Four Horsemen. It is a Figura Obscura figure. I picked up the Headless Horseman and it turned out to be like my favorite figure of the year. I think it was my favorite figure of 2022, was it not? I don't know, someone go back and look. I didn't really know anything about this one. Um, came with a little booklet and I started reading it. It's based, I think, on an Edgar Allan Poe story. Uh, but it, I haven't even opened it. It's sealed. The Mask of Red Death, baby. Figure Obscure Four Horseman figure. This is as much as I can show you. I can't open it up because it is sealed tight. There's the story in the back. I'm going to need to take my contacts out to read that. Good God, that's small writing. But uh, hell freaking yes. New Figure Obscura. I still need the Krampus. I want to get the Krampus. I might do something kind of kind of holiday-ish and, and buy it like right before uh, freaking Christmas, just for the hell of it, just to get Krampus near Christmas. So uh, there's that. Got the, uh, if anyone has that figure, let me know what you think. Have you opened it yet? I haven't opened it obviously, but let me know what you think of that figure uh, Obscura. Where's my freaking knife? Okay, so let's open this mystery box. It uh, is uh, from someone in New Albany, Indiana. And they addressed it to Cincy Nerd, parentheses, Dan. There's a government name reveal there, if you have, didn't already know my name. But let's go ahead and see what is in this box here. Ooh. There's multiple boxes in here. All right, what do we have? Something in here. Let's take all this stuff out. There's something in here. There's multiple boxes in here. I'm not ready for this. Is that everything? There's a letter. There's a letter. All right. Let me look at the letter and see if it reveals everything that is being sent to me. All right. There's some reveals in there, so I don't want to spoil it for myself. So I want this to be a surprise for myself. So let's just go ahead and uh, see what's here. Holy frick. Is this an original? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my lord. Um, this is a snowmobile, guys. This is a G.I. Joe snowmobile. I think this might be an original. Uh, what was this called? The Polar... Uh, I forgot the damn name. I looked it up recently, too. Um, something Cat. There's missiles there. All right, so that's amazing, first of all. Let's see if I can see the date. 1983, holy frick. All right, so I recently got a, a snow job and uh, the snow job is gonna go on this polar bear cat. I can't remember the damn name, damn it. All right, so I'm cutting the box here. All right, we got, oh! oh! So we got original Joski. Wow, file card two. Bam and bam. Iceberg, baby. Iceberg! Hell freaking yes. There's this big white gun ski there. Let's go. Freaking go, baby. So um, I am filming these out of order. By now, you should have probably already watched my vintage toy collection video. Well, I haven't actually filmed the Vintage Toy Collection video yet, and it's a good thing because he's gonna go right in the collection. So we're kind of doing a little time thing, which is good because we're watching Loki right now, right? And it's all got to do with like time and all that stuff. What is this? Dude, holy freaking ass. That's Scarlet. That is a Scarlet card, an original Scarlet card. Holy crap. Oh, Lordy Almighty. Scarlet file card with Toys R Us original sticker on it. 
My hand's shaking. That's how awesome this is. Holy crap, that is so cool. $2.87 for Scarlet. And inside, we got, here's her crossbow. Bam, Scarlet. That paint looks great. Man, she looks clean. Thumbs intact. She needs a new O-ring. I wonder how hard her O-ring is to change out. I usually change them out, but some of them have like, they're harder to uh, to separate the upper torso. Hell freaking yes, dude. And then we got this last one here. What's this? It is, oh! <laughs> Bounty Hunters complete! IG-88, I almost said IG-11. IG-88, baby. Bounty Hunters complete. I couldn't tell by the gun skis who this was. Holy freaking ass. Hell yes, dude. This is awesome. All right, now I gotta see who this is from because this is an amazing, amazing mystery box. Holy crap. Cincy, been watching your videos, hunts, hauls, etc., for some time now. I like how you keep it real and have nothing pretentious about you. So decided to send just a few more uh, items your way that you might be able to use for your collection. If not, then feel free to do with them as you wish. Oh, I could always use these items. Even if I get like duplicates, guys, I'm gonna use them for vehicles and stuff. I'm getting a freaking killer whale, so I'm gonna need some, some Joes for that mother ever. I am not certain the enclosed vehicle goes with the driver, but I'm sure you will know right away. Uh, the droid that is enclosed can be added as filler to your collection until you locate one that is... That looked pretty damn pristine. I see no issues with this. This is going to be my IG-88 of choice. Also to the lady enclosed has some loose hips. You know what they say about ladies with loose hips. Uh, <laughs> and I think you may be able to change the O-ring, but since I didn't try that procedure and end up, end up damaging her, you get her as she is. She still stands and still looks good, but not as pristine as one would like. Use her as filler until you locate the, uh, the right one. With regards, Bob. Hell freaking yes, Bob. Hell freaking yes. Thank you so freaking much. This is amazing. And uh, this really, I've been putting off filming the damn collection videos because it takes some time. And I, sometimes I don't know what to say while I'm showing you all this stuff. Sometimes I don't remember names because I'm old. My brain is starting to die. Jeez Louise, that's morbid. Uh, but hell freaking yes, dude. I have all of these things here to add to the collection now and I'm inspired to film this video. So Bob and uh, others that have recently sent me vintage toys. First of all, thank you guys so much. You guys don't have to send me anything at all, but holy crap, it makes me happy. So thank you so much. They're going right in the collection. These look so damn clean. Hell freaking yes. Let's finish the video with the item which uh, could potentially be a top figure of the year. Some of you have never even heard of this. And I, honestly, 100% had never heard of this until I saw some videos. I saw a couple videos. I saw a couple Instagram posts. I am a fan of werewolves, if you did not know. As much as I talk about Werewolf by Night and collect the comic books and buy the freaking pops, I love where An American Werewolf in London is my favorite horror movie of all time. I've mentioned that. I'm a big fan of werewolves. Um, except for the werewolves from Twilight. They were kind of, they were kind of lame. Uh, but um, I heard about this figure and it's by Fure, I think. But like the people that have Fure Planet, They've come out with a few figures now that are kind of animal based. There's a tiger, which looks freaking amazing. But this one right here, the reviews I saw, they're like figure of the year potential. So I had to give it a shot, guys. This is veteran William. This is a big ass werewolf. And uh, what's cool about this is it comes with a bunch of accessories and you can eat, pose them different ways. So let me show you the different ways you could pose them. You could pose them as like a freaking like warrior, like a soldier, werewolf soldier with gun skis and stuff. Or you could, you know, display them as a regular werewolf. I don't know how I'm gonna display them. It's gonna be however, whatever looks more badass. I'm gonna display them both ways. I can't wait to open this, honestly. Veteran William, weird name, I know. Uh, not weird name, that's my dad's name. William, 
It's also my dog's name, Willie. Uh, so cool name. Hell freaking yes. Veteran William. He's a werewolf. It's like a hundred dollar figure. Um, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this thing. So I guess you'll just have to wait until the end of the year to see if he makes my top 10. I have uh, I have uh, some good thoughts about this one. Hopefully I like him as much as my expectations are with this one right now. So hell freaking yes guys, that's the one I was talking about. Potential figure of the year. We'll see if I open it up and I like it. Uh, you know, maybe Strongheart will be in there too. But uh, there you go, guys. There's a little haul ski. Hopefully you watched the Vintage Court Toy Collection video, which I haven't uh, filmed yet, uh, which I'm about to film because I got this awesome stuff. I can't wait to get these on the shelf. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, all that great stuff. If you uh, are here and you are not subscribed, give it a shot. Let's get to 25K. Hell freaking yes. I'm like almost... Uh, at a milestone with the number, of, I think I'm like 500 damn videos. Holy cow, 500 videos, that's a lot. Wow. Okay guys, I got lots of toys to play with here and open up. So I'll leave you with that. More toy collection videos on the way. Have fun collecting, I'll see you around the corner and adios for now.